Thank you. Thank you very much, beloved Pastor uh, Moses. And it's always a joy. And uh, today, really, you are look, looking like an angel. When I first saw you today, I thought, oh, angels are like that only. Hallelujah. The white, and you are looking very fabulous and beautiful. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. White denotes purity. Purity of our motives, purity of our thoughts, purity of our action. White color denotes purity. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So, I praise God because Jesus has been good. He has been gracious. Jesus has been blessing many, many people. Last time when I had uh, preached the word of God, I received uh, some testimonies that, um, oh, the topic that I shared and I, the story that I told about the parrot, about the peacock and the crow, it was so uh, heart-touching and it was so timely and uh, practically applicable what people face, children of God face, uh, not being content, not being satisfied and always comparing, com competing, competing with each other. So they learnt a lesson. Yes, they told me, yes, brother, that's right what you told. Let's run our own race because we have a unique calling which no one has. Because we are not a photocopy, we are original. We are not Xerox, we are original. So today also we shall meditate on a very wonderful topic and through a story, I will illustrate the Bible principles, the Bible examples and oh, the lessons, Bible lessons we can learn from those stories. So kindly listen very attentively, you will really enjoy. Now there was a forest, okay, and in forest different kind of animals, birds used to live. And what you are see, seeing on my background? Beautiful white rabbit. rabbit. Isn't it? I like rabbit. You might also be liking very much this whitish and very lovely rabbits. So in a forest, in a jungle, rabbits were there, deer were there. Of course, the king of the forest jungle king of the jungle who the lion the tiger all those were also there and those uh, these uh, rabbits what they eat they eat grass isn't it they eat grass the rabbit but the lion the tiger they eat these animals and one of the favorite food of the lion of the cheetah, of the tiger, is those little, uh, oh, uh, this fleshy rabbits. They enjoy eating these rabbits. So what happened? These rabbits can't run so fast compared to a lion, isn't it? So these lions were very powerful. And these are little uh, creation, creator, uh, uh, creatures, these rabbits. So they were dying every day. Lions were coming and eating those rabbits. So they were very puzzled, very fearful. They were very, very worried how to save our lives. Because these lions will not spare anyone. These lions like eating us and we can't escape. So what? How we can escape from these oh mighty lions the big powerful lions their mouth are so big see he is always the lion is always wanting to eat to kill the small animals and they like uh, rabbits as their favorite food uh, hallelujah Oh, so these lions and tigers were creating a havoc for the rabbits in the forest. So these rabbits 
was so fearful so worried anxious what to do every day we are decreasing in numbers we are going to be extinct if we don't keep ourselves safe from these hungry lions these mighty powerful lions so some of the rabbits had wisdom bible says in proverbs chapter 4 verse 7 proverbs chapter 4 verse 7 wisdom is the principal thing principal thing wisdom is the principal thing therefore get wisdom and with all thy getting get understanding god's word is telling in proverbs chapter 4 verse 7 wisdom is the principal thing wisdom is the most most important thing in this life therefore get wisdom and with all thy getting get understanding my beloved brothers and sisters how to get wisdom to live in this very very complicated full of problematic world people how to live with wisdom understanding bible gives an answer beautiful answer from the bible bible gives an beautiful answer that is written in proverbs chapter 1 verse 7 proverbs chapter 1 verse 7 and also proverbs chapter 9 verse 10 says the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge yes my beloved brothers and sister oh take uh, take uh, Oh, the wisdom and knowledge for uh, by fearing the Lord. When the fear of the Lord comes upon you, you will automatically get wisdom, understanding. Hallelujah and Hallelujah. Oh, knowledge. Proverbs chapter two verse six says. Proverbs chapter two verse six says. For the Lord gives wisdom. Out of His mouth comes knowledge and understanding. Yes my beloved brothers and sister wisdom is most important and in the bible we can read in first king chapter 3 what does solomon the great king ask from god almighty he asks nothing but wisdom give me wisdom lord give me wisdom he didn't want uh, long life or the harm or revenge for his uh, enemies he didn't want uh, oh money richness gold and silver he wanted this wisdom and god was very much uh, pleased and he said uh, because in first kings chapter 3 verse 11 god said to solomon since you have asked for wisdom not for long life or wealth for yourself nor have asked for the death of your enemies but for the wisdom in administrating justice i will do what you have asked i will give you wise and discerning heart so that there will be never have been anyone like you nor will there ever be moreover i will give you what you have not asked for both wealth and honor with wisdom will come my beloved brothers and sister wealth and honor beautiful beautiful wonderful with wisdom and how to get wisdom the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge proverbs chapter 1 verse 7 proverbs chapter 9 verse 10 because our god is wonderful in counsel excellent in working hallelujah isaiah chapter 28 verse 29 says our god is wonderful in counsel excellent in working he will give you hallelujah wonderful suggestion wonderful counsel because our god is wonderful in counsel and excellent in working yes yes hallelujah ask 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 for him ask for wisdom he will graciously give you job chapter 28 was 28 says job chapter 28 was 28 says 
the fear of the lord that is wisdom the fear of the lord that is wisdom and to shun evil to keep away from evil to rebuke to leave to to rid off from every kind of evil is understanding to shun evil is understanding god wants to give you wisdom wisdom and knowledge my beloved brothers and sister as you are hearing the spirit of wisdom is hovering the spirit of wisdom is hovering the spirit of knowledge is hovering upon you take it take it discernment of spirit oh the nine gifts of the holy spirit is hovering over you spirit hallelujah is moving oh hallelujah hallelujah as in the day of pentecost spirit is moving again oh spirit is moving again spirit is moving again as in the day of pentecost spirit is moving again why he is moving again to give you wisdom to give you understanding to give you knowledge and when you ask wisdom from god you will get two free things with him with it with wisdom wealth and honor hallelujah when you purchased during some christmas time festive season some shirt or some products you will get some offers take one get two free so also oh as you are listening god is offering you my son my daughter as you are asking for wisdom not only you will receive wisdom but also wealth and honor wealth and honor because jesus said everyone who ask receives everyone who knocks it shall be open everyone who seeks it shall be found matthew chapter 7 verse 7 to 11 ask and you will receive so in the forest this rabbits were in danger danger every day they were being eaten by this mighty powerful lions some of the rabbits asked wisdom from god and they were given wisdom and what they were shown do you know let's see what they were shown god showed them a beautiful a beautiful thing just see a rock a rock a rock in the jungle and with a hole a small hole and in that the rabbit uh, began hiding themselves and when this mighty roaring lion came to eat them to kill them they couldn't enter this small hole because why because the mouth of the lions was so big and this hole was opening was so small in diameter only a rabbit can go so this rock became a rock of refuge for these uh, humble rabbits those who were dying they were getting saved because as soon as they hear the roar of a lion immediately they will run to this rock to this rock and hide themselves in the hole of that rock in our spiritual life there is a rock there is a rock of refuge the rock of ages the solid rock on which we stand his name is jesus christ the everlasting the ever living the eternal the most powerful the supreme powerful almighty rock rock of ages solid rock on which we stand jesus christ proverbs chapter 18 verse 10 says the name of the lord is a strong tower the righteous run sin to it and they are saved proverbs chapter 18 verse 10 the name of the lord is a strong tower the righteous run sin to it and they are saved 
my beloved brother my beloved sister when problems come when fear come when fear torments when worries torment you torture you when evil crooked wicked people oppress you abuse you your critics your opposers your naysayers your leg pullers in your office in your neighborhood in your family in your society you have a rock of refuge his name is jesus christ first corinthians chapter 10 verse 4 says jesus christ is that rock jesus christ is that rock and in the old testament if we read exodus chapter 17 verse 1 to 7 exodus chapter 17 verse 1 to 7 it's described a very beautiful wonderful miracle oh that happened for the children of god the israelites while they were marching towards the promised land through the wilderness there were no water proper water no drinking facility no well they were getting thirsty and they start complaining to moses and when moses cried out to god almighty god showed him a rock and he said strike that rock and water will flow and praise god when he struck the rock with his rod moses there was gush rushing gush of water coming and that was sufficient for how many people do you know how many people were there those children of god israelites marching from the slavery from egypt to the promised land bible says in numbers chapter 1 verse 46 numbers chapter 1 verse 46 and numbers chapter 2 verse 32 god mentions how many males were there male people were there male how many 6 lakhs 3550 6 lakhs 3550 people if you include in a family one wife and five six children around 20 25 lakhs of people were there and god gave them abundant water for them to drink in the desert in the wilderness how beautiful how magnificent how majestic how marvelous how miracle working is our god almighty jehovah praise him magnify him glorify him jesus the lamb of god the lion of the tribe of judah the light of the world the lily of the valley the lord of glory the lord of host the lord of all lords hallelujah oh the pearl of great price the one who was the one who is and one who is to come the alpha and the omega the beginning and the end hallelujah the way the truth and the life the door the good shepherd the great shepherd the chief shepherd jesus praise him praise him magnify him glorify him he is worthy he loves you he loves you jesus loves you deeply and dearly you are the property of jesus christ he has purchased you with his own precious blood my beloved brothers and sisters hallelujah praise him praise him praise him hallelujah oh he is the lion of the tribe of judah hallelujah he is the lion of the tribe of judah for oh, his almighty he gave water for 20 25 lakhs of people in the wilderness from the rock rock is symbolic and from this rock he also gave him a very very tasty thing what is that have you eaten i hope everyone has he- eaten honey isn't it honey is so sweet so delicious everyone enjoys god in his mercy fed his people in the wilderness from the rock god brought in his love and his compassion he brought 
honey from the rock honey from the rock deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 13 says god brought honey from the rock psalms chapter 81 verse 16 says god fed them with honey from the rock who is that rock jesus christ is that rock oh god has a bosom like a feeding mother when you go with him to him in tears when you say i have reached the end of the road there is no hope there is no help for me there the way maker the deliverer the oh redeemer the way maker will come will come oh when you feel hopeless when you feel helpless he will say Oh, like a feeding mother. Where does the feeding mother feed her milk? This milk, from where does it come from? The medical sign says, the doctor says, it's the mother blood that is converted into milk that feeds the newborn baby of the mother. And the mother happily and freely feeds her beloved newborn baby with her own milk and where they did this milk come from mother's blood is converted into milk god has also a bosom like a feeding mother isaiah chapter 49 verse 15 and 16 can a feeding mother forget her sucking child yes she may forget but i will never forget you i will never forget you I have engraved you upon the palm of my hands. Hallelujah. Oh yes, my beloved, when you go in tears, when you say I've reached to the end of the my road, there is no hope. I'm in hopeless, critical, critical situation, complex, complicated situation. Jesus will solve all your problems, all your complication, complicated situation, all your complex situations situation will be solved by jesus christ because he loves you he wants to help you therefore don't give up don't think of committing suicide don't think of running from this life from your home from your office don't think of leaving the ministry although finances may be very oh strenuous uh, no not much finances no much financial support still press on be persistent press on Hold on. Hallelujah. Press on. You will be victorious because our Jesus Christ is victorious. Remember, my beloved brothers and sisters, failures are not permanent. Failures are not permanent. Keep trying. Keep attempting. Keep. Begin again. Start again. Try again. Attempt again. You will be successful. You will shine for the glory of Jesus. Because Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18 says, The path of the righteous gets brighter and brighter as the day passes by. Your path, you are a righteous. You are son and daughter of Jesus Christ. He has washed you. He has cleansed you with his own precious pure blood of Jesus. The blood of the Lamb of God slain from the foundation of the world. The Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Uh, oh, the Lamb of God. Oh, Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world will cleanse you, will uh, wash you, will make you white as snow. Yes, beloved brothers and sisters, covered by the precious, powerful, pure blood of Jesus. You are untouchable. You are untouchable by the devil, by the diseases, by the death, by the dangerous situation. They will not be overcoming you because First John chapter 4 verse 4 says, greater, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And we are more than conqueror through him who loved us. Romans chapter 8 verse 37 says, Jesus Christ loved us and he conquered the devil, the death and the diseases. You will also as, a, as his child, as a joint higher, hires of Jesus Christ, as co-hires of Jesus Christ, 
वॉट एवर इनहेरिटेंस वॉट एवर ब्लेसिंग वॉट एवर प्रोमिस गॉड मेड टू एब्राहम इट इज फॉर यू फॉर यूर इनहेरिटेंस बिकॉज यू आर को हायर्स ज्वाइंट हायर्स विथ क्राइस्ट रोमन चैप्टर एट व सेवनटीन से गलेशियन चैप्टर फोर व सिक्स से Galatians chapter three verse twenty nine says, "All the promises, all the inheritance of Abraham blessings promises belongs to you. By faith you are the children of Abraham. By faith you are oh co heirs, joint heirs with Jesus Christ." Romans eight chapter eight verse seventeen. Therefore you will conquer. You will overcome the devil, the diseases, the dangers, the death. Hallelujah! It will not overpower you until God says, "Now it's the time." Therefore, David says in Psalm thirty-one verse fifteen, "O Lord, my times are in Your hand. My times are in Your hands, my beloved brother, my beloved sister. Your time, your time is not in the hand of." the devil not in the hands of the doctors not in the hands of wicked people diseases your times on this earth is in the hand of jesus christ psalms 31 verse 15 job chapter 14 verse 5 he has given you a life span and with long life he will satisfy you exodus chapter 23 verse 26 Job chapter five verse twenty six, Exodus chapter twenty three verse twenty six, Job chapter five verse twenty six, and Psalms ninety one verse sixteen. With long life, we will satisfy you. Hallelujah! Oh, therefore, when dangerous people come, when they attack you, when they torment you, when they torture you, run, run, run to the rock of ages. Oh, run to the rock of refuge. The name of the Lord, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it, and they are saved. Shall we close our eyes in prayer and look to Jesus, the Rock of Ages, the solid rock on which we stand? Oh yes, Hallelujah. Oh yes, Father, on Christ the solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking sand, and all other ground is sinking sand. On Christ the solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. Rock of Ages, cleft for me. Let me hide myself in Thee. Rock of Ages, cleft for me. Let me hide myself in Thee. Rock of Ages, cleft for me. Let me hide myself in Thee. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You are going to hide us, Lord, in your protection. You are our shelter. You are our shield. You are our shepherd. We will not fear. Hallelujah. You are our strength. You are our shadow. Oh, you are our defense. You are our defender. You are our rock of refuge. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. His spirit is. The Lord Jesus is hovering over you. Oh, the Lord is that spirit. The Lord Jesus is that spirit. Second Corinthians chapter three verse seventeen. The Lord is that spirit. He's hovering over you. Oh, praise Him! Praise Him! Praise Him! Father God, I wonder how I managed to exist without the knowledge of your parenthood. And your loving care. Now I am your son. I am adopted in your family. I can never be alone because Father God, you are there beside me. I will sing your praises. I will sing your praises. I will sing your praises for evermore. 
I will sing your praises, I will sing your praises, I will sing your praises for evermore. Father God, I wonder how I managed to exist without the knowledge of your parenthood and your loving care. Now I am your son, I am adopted in your family. I can never be alone because Father God, you are there beside me. I will sing your praises, I will sing your praises i will sing your praises for ever more i will sing your praises i will sing your praises i will sing your praises for ever more sweet jesus embrace every brother every sister kiss them kiss them Kiss them, Lord. Let them feel your gentle touch. Touch of love. Touch of compassion. Touch of love. Touch of compassion. Touch of healing. Heal. Heal them. Heal them, Lord. Deliver them from their anxiety, from their fear, from their worries, from every lack. Oh, you fed your children, Israelites. Honey from the rock. Water from the rock. And you were the rock of refuge for your children. Do it, Lord. Do it, Lord. Let every fear disappear. Let every worry about their family, about their finances, about their future, about their children disappear. Let hope, hope, hope of the solid rock of ages. Oh, the rock of ages, cleft for me. Fill them, fill them, fill them. Eternal, everlasting rock, Jesus. Fill them, fill them with your hope, Lord. Let their family life be built. Their church be built on the chief cornerstone, on the solid rock, Lord, like a wise man that builds his house. Oh, according to your word, that is compared to building on a solid rock his house. As they obey your word, as they listen, as they meditate your word, bless them, bless them, bless them. Many, many fold. Increase their finances. Increase their income. Their ministry boundaries be expanded. Enlarge. Enriched, Lord. Be extended. As per Exodus chapter 34, verse 24. And as per Isaiah chapter 54, verse 2 and 3. Their ministry boundaries be expanded. Extended and enlarged. All because we pray in Jesus strengthening, strongest, sweetest, sanctifying name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen, amen. Praise him. Thank him. Magnify him. Glorify him. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Thank you, Reverend Dr. Samuel Masse. That was beautiful, brilliant. And praise God that you were able to start with the wisdom of God to be applied for us, to be sought for. And then you moved on into the rock of our salvation where we can go and confide and we can lean on his bosom what an amazing word god gave us praise god